first you need to start by this uh, there's like a black casing around the the screen itself you've just got to pry that away uh, obviously you want to be careful make sure that you don't uh, cause any damage it's really simple it just comes away really easy as you can see just pop the clips all the way around and then it will eventually just fall fall away okay now as you can see that leaves us with uh, the screen itself um, and it's just some simple crosshead screws here four of them that we're going to need to take out as well as the 30 pin connector which you'll be able to see in a moment Put those screws to one side just taking the screen away from the uh, the casing of the laptop itself you can just see the uh, the the LCD is held on by this 30 pin connector and a little bit of, uh, of a bit of sticky tape for want of a better word all you've got to do is just disconnect that from the uh, broken LCD just gently so you don't want to uh, break any connections on the plug itself there we go and away it comes if you just put your broken screen to one side we get our replacement LCD which you can see here you just want to go ahead and replace the 30 pin connector you'll see where it goes nice and straightforward uh, just as we did when removing the old screen it's just a reversal basically of that process Make sure it sit nice, sits nice and firmly in, um, and you don't want to lose connection. That's just going to cause you no ends of issues later. Um, and you can just relay that uh, that sticky tape just to hold it in, nice and securely in place. Uh, you just simply now want to go on to uh, sit, hold the hold the new screen up to the screw holes. You're just going to go ahead and replace the screws now. You might find it easy to actually lay the the lid flat um, in order to do that. And now the replacement LCD is on, we can go ahead and remove the protective layer, uh, the protective cover, sorry, that it had over it. And finally, last stage is to simply reattach the uh, the trim from the lid. Just a bit of gentle persuasion getting it over the uh, the hinges for the lid and then the rest just simply clicks into place. And then you simply just want to push the trim so that the uh, clips attach all the way around. You will hear it click into place and that's how you know that it's on securely. Give it one last push just to make sure that it is all in firmly. Make sure that there are no gaps here around uh, where the trim meets the LCD screen. You want that to be flush, um, just like new. And then voila, time to go and plug it in and see if it's worked. And there you have it, guys. 